So we've just heard how much power these HSVs have, but there's not much point having all that grunt if you can't control it with innovative technology. Phil, take us through HSV's own R&D process and how we go about it here in Australia. Well, like all motor car companies, we have a, a technical department. Their job is come to work and make better HSVs for the future. This group throws up more ideas because they're passionate also. They throw up more ideas than the business can cope with. Ryan, what do you think from a HSV point of view we've contributed to automotive technology. HSV as a, as a company, we've been the market leaders in Australia for bringing a lot of this new technology. We've got our DRLs, which are not just there to, uh, to make the car look pretty, but also have a, uh, a safety factor where they reduce the likelihood of you getting an impact in another car. Magnetic wire control, which is a great product that we've designed. Which is EDI. It's EDI, a great course, driver. Yeah, my favourite toy. Um, <laughs> Yeah, EDI, EDI, is, uh, EDI has been very, very good. That was something that taken a, took a long time to actually produce. It's just interesting that you sit in your car and you know your car's doing all these different things while you're driving it, but um, to actually be able to visualise that with some of the graphics is you know, something very interesting. Obviously, when you're driving, you don't want to spend too much time looking at it. As long as you've got well, it in the corner of your Another great thing is this EDI system has a data logging component. Correct. So yeah. you go to the track and you drive like Cameron McConville around Broadford. <laughs> You can actually download it onto a USB stick, take that out, put it in your laptop. Show your mates. And, and you, show can look, you can look at the data just like, the, just like we do from a racing mm. point of view. So. I, I time my journey to work every day and I record it every day. I don't know if it can be used in a court of law. But I'm pretty sure that can't, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, that's the sort of technology that, you know, no other Australian car has that sort of stuff. And, you know, market leading. And Cam, you know, we talk about technology, you instantly think technology, cars, you start thinking racing. You think HSV, you think Holden Racing Team, there's an obvious link there. I mean, what technology do we have in the road car? We talked about the data logging and EDI. What, what, what synergies are there between what we have now in the road car and what we use in the race car? Yeah, you know, there's a perception out there that what uh, we learn in the race team comes across into the road cars, and that is partially true, there's no doubt about it. But I think uh, a lot of the, the engineering that, that goes into the road cars uh, comes across into the race cars as well. You know, ABS, traction control, things that are fitted to Le Mans specs cars and GT cars, and you know, the top level of motor racing is Formula One. A lot of that technology comes from the, from the road car uh, division, but certainly with the, the drive experience and the drive days we do with the brand, it's all about feeling these technologies work in the cars. So you get to feel these, these technologies, particularly the MRC working in its different settings, and that's something that to someone that hasn't driven our cars is absolutely blown away by those technologies in, a, in an Australian sports car. It's, it's also interesting to mention that you know, it, was only, it was only last year, I think three of our engineers from the racing team actually came on board to HSV, and two of them actually left HSV and went to work for the race team. So the actual experience that those people have obtained in that different department and bringing it onto the road cars is something which has a huge value. Which, and again, very, very unique to yeah, exactly. wouldn't, there's, there's, wouldn't be any other company. You, know, you could probably count you know, all the other companies that could do that in one hand. Yeah. And we talk about racing, so that usually means spending a lot of money. Technology, R&D. <laughs> Phil, what sort of investment do you think HSV more recently in the, in the E-Series would have spent on their technology in R&D? Garth, it's, it's frightening. Um, the amount of budget that we spend on R&D and delivery of programs. I keep saying to the engineers, you are the biggest spenders in the business by a factor of 10. What's the next big technology advancement in, order, in the automotive industry? If you look back the last 25 years and how cars have changed, in that time and certainly in the last five to six years it's grown even more rapidly. Project that forward, a car in 25 years time will be a lot more different to that that we know today and if you look around the world at what the brand, different brands are doing, some are into electric cars, some are into hybrids, some are into lightweight materials, carbon fibres, they're all st striving to improve the safety of the car and the efficiency of the car. And we will be trying to do that as the best within our ability, but also having that performance edge to it, because there's always a market uh, for that unique and special car.